Hello, I'm Andrew Schneider and I'd like to thank you for choosing Systems Environmental Products as your equipment supplier. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to complete the necessary servicing on the SureFlow 8000 series pump. Step one, remove pump and pump wiring from sprayer. After removing the four bolts fastening the pump, inspect the wiring coming from the pump to the power source, ensuring that you are looking for any signs of wear that may become a problem in the future. Step two, Disconnect inbound and outbound fly nuts from sprayer plumbing. Step three, changing the pressure switch. If your pump is equipped with a functioning pressure switch, disconnect the two wires entering the switch and ensure that there is no sign of wear or corrosion on the fittings. Step 4. Disassemble the pressure switch. Remove the three screws fastening the pressure switch to the upper housing. There are four pieces that make up the check valve. The diaphragm insert, the diaphragm seat, the spring, and the check valve cone. Step five, replace check valve components and pressure switch. Replace the four check valve components above in the following order. Check valve cone, spring, diaphragm seat, and diaphragm insert. Reattach the new pressure switch to the pump upper housing with the existing screws. Step six, changing valve and diaphragm assemblies. Remove the six screws holding the upper housing to the lower housing. Step seven, remove existing valve assembly. Remove and replace the existing valve assembly with the one provided in the repair kit. The valve assembly comes pre-assembled and will only fit on one way. Step eight, remove existing diaphragm assembly. Replace the existing diaphragms with the new one provided in the repair kit. There is a pin size hole on each diaphragm that must be correctly seated in order for the pump to work correctly. Step nine, reattach the upper housing to the lower housing. Using a Torx bit and in a crisscross pattern, 
Attach the six screws holding the upper housing to the lower housing. Be sure that you have tightened the screws completely as liquid product could leak from this area. Step 10. Attach the pump to the sprayer. Attach the four screws holding the pump to the sprayer frame. Step 11. Connect the inbound and outbound fly nuts to the sprayer and reconnect the wiring. After connecting the fly nuts, refer to the equipment manual for 120 volt and 12 volt wiring. Thank <laughs> you.